Hey guys, John with Lux. I'm gonna show you today how to wrap a Silverado taillight. I'm gonna use our mid-smoke light wrap film. We're gonna put a lot of horizontal stretch on this film so that we don't get any lifting here in this recessed area. And we also don't get any tension lines top and bottom. I see people try to do this light and traditionally with like a, an 8300 or another wet app product, you try to apply to the face and the majority of the face and stretch up and down and try to stretch into this. Uh, you can do that with this film. It's just not going to like that as much as the technique that I'll show you. Um, when we're finished, hopefully we have no tension right here. Because we're going to put stretch on this film, when we heat it, it's going to naturally want to find the shortest distance from here to here. And this being sunk in is going to be shorter than up here. So we should naturally get a little bit of shrinkage right here. So we're going to apply the film and try to push the air out. Then we're going to pull the film up along this front edge since we put all this stretch. We're gonna heat it, shrink it back down so that it lays down flat. Let's give this a shot. First thing I'm gonna do is tack the film to the actual trunk deck uh, hatch here. See, so yeah, I apply it about one inch on the trunk. It's really not applied to the light, it is touching it but not applied. Now I'm gonna go add some heat and soften the film. Now with the film soft, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling. Didn't get it soft enough. Come back in. I'm at a dealership doing this for a friend or I would be using a heat gun so I could be more cautious with my heat. There we go, that's a good starting point. So you can see we already have the vinyl kind of shrinking down and hugging into this point. This is pretty much completely laid down and we have a couple tension lines here and here, but they're all moving this direction, which is really good. They're gonna be very easy to take out. I think we got enough stretch on this vinyl, so we're gonna go ahead and start actually applying it to the light. First thing I'm going to do is just start lifting it up where those lines were so that I can get it applied down. You can see the film actually stuck to itself. It's okay, just reach around the back, pull it off. It's going to prevent you from pulling correct stretch because it's going to be tighter down here. Okay. See the airgrass technology working beautifully. Pop this up. See, I'm really distorting the vinyl right here. A little bit of heat. It's gonna shrink up nicely, exactly like I said it would do, like I want it to. Always lift up just a little more if you need to. I had a little crease right there. Okay, that crease is gone. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my squeegee out. Go ahead and heat this, and you should see it naturally. See how it wants to shrink up right there? Using the hard, hard side of the squeegee while the tent's still warm, I'm wanting to shrink. I'm just gonna help it go around that bulge.
Now we're going to do the same exact technique on the top. Apply the heat, hope it stretches back. We didn't get as much stretch on the top. You can see I'm having to push up all this tension here. Now this is still going to work. I just have to be very set, careful with how I move this tension. That still wasn't much stretch at all. We did stretch the vinyl up a little bit, but not too much. I'll show you how I can tell. You see up here, we do have a little bit of fingers forming, but they're all on the other side. They're not on the light. And if I hate this area, it doesn't shrink past. Those fingers don't get tight past on the vinyl. So I just make sure that I lift it off the paint of the vehicle. That's why I have the painters tape down and heat it to shrink the vinyl up and put it into a relaxed state right along that edge. We should have that never lift up. So you can see I'm using the hard part of the squeegee. It is, it is putting tiny, tiny surface scratches on the vinyl, but when I post heat it, those will all go away. So I'm not really worried about those. So we have this part completely laid down. This back is laid down this and the majority of these two faces. Now we're going to move into this middle section. This takes a little bit more effort and skill, but it's not super hard. All I'm going to do is bring the vinyl across the vehicle and make ourselves an escape to the air. Once we have that escape, Warm the vinyl, go straight for that crease. Press it in. So the top crease is applied. Got a little bit of wrinkle right there, a little crease in the vinyl. Lift it, put some heat on it, boom, it's gone. Nice and smooth there again. You'll notice I heated this area down here and I pressed into the top crease. By doing that and not heating the top of the vinyl, if I had heated the top of the vinyl and pressed into the top crease, it would have stretched that area. By heating the bottom and pressing into the top, it stretches from here to here. So we've now distributed this tension across this vinyl. We're gonna heat the bottom. Do exactly the same thing, right into the crease with your finger. Now lay down the flat parts. There you go, this entire part is laid down perfectly flat. There's no little micro bubbles or any air trapped in those creases. We're almost done with this light. I'm gonna free the vinyl up off the vehicle, like I said, all the way to where the black turns red. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to that point. Heat all, I'm going to heat all this, get the bottom to relax. Once it relaxes, we're going to use just enough to stretch to even out the tension lines. So the vinyls, there's a lot of extra vinyl here and it's kind of bunched up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut any excess away so I can stretch easier.
pretty much complete. The vinyl is applied all over the base of the light. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up to temperature and post heat it. When I post heat it, I'll see all the little bruises on the face of the vinyl go away. Any little squeegee marks that you may have put in it will also disappear. We're looking for about 200 degrees here. This is gonna release the memory of the vinyl, so the vinyl will not wanna return flat, it'll accept the new shape. So before I cut this, I just wanted to give you a close up here of the top. You can see none of those little lines reach the light itself. They're all up past it. You have no little bubbles. This is applied perfectly down into the creases. And again, the bottom, no tension. All right, so the only thing left to do is to trim this light. Because there's really no gap to wrap this top edge around the light, I want to be very careful up here to make sure that I did get everything on the other side and uh, that it's ready for cut there. Same technique as wrapping a car. I'm not cutting on the light side so that the edge of the film is right on the edge of the light. I'm cutting down on the body side of the vehicle. That way I can take any extra film and wrap it around the underside of the light. That ensures that we'll have a, a problem free edge that it'll never shrink back past where the customer can see. And uh, also it gives us that OEM look where it looks like the entire lens is tinted from the factory. That front edge, you saw I cut it and used my finger just to help it back around the edge. The last thing I'm gonna do before I actually tuck it is I'm gonna shrink it. Remember, we had all that stretch this way, so I wanna go ahead and relax the vinyl and then tuck it around. And then the top. careful when you're pulling the excess that you actually cut all the way through. I hate when I'm pulling and the knife didn't cut a little spot and it just pulls the tin up. and checking to make sure I don't see the vinyl retract or pull back at all. I don't. Then so we get the best paint light finish. I'm gonna go ahead and free the vinyl off the tailgate of the truck and open it. Let's me get all the way around the back of the plastic. I'll go ahead and move the camera. Now that we've heated this and got it to where it's at the very back of the lens, 
All that's left to do is trim that. There we go, we've got a perfect edge all along the back side of that plastic. It looks totally factory. Okay, so this is a successful install here. We have no tension lines along that top edge. There's no problems there. Let's see how tight the final laid down in here. It's perfect, no problems there whatsoever. No adhesive lines that can be seen. No variation in the shade. The bottom, same thing. Over here, no visible edge or red, it looks like the lens came that way. Overall, very even, very pretty cherry red from our mid smoke. On this gray, looks fantastic. You can see, used to be about as bright red as that Z on the Z71 logo.